We work on a whole series of rare metabolic disorders in children that involve this process called glycosylation. And our hope is that we can recognize a lot of these patients uh, and maybe eventually come up with therapies for them. And we've been pretty lucky in some cases because in a few instances we've, we've actually discovered molecules that can help improve the symptoms and in some cases almost cure a few patients. Not a lot, but uh, it's a start. Point probably six or seven different diseases that had never been known before. Of course, they've, they've been in humankind for you know thousands of years and parents have had to struggle and to, to try to think what's wrong with their kids to try to figure out what do we do and sometimes what we can provide is a sense of diagnosis and we have a lot of contacts I mean I realize that things are supposed to be anonymous in science but there are parents who will contact us and who will say I know you have my my child cells and I know you're doing these things uh, we appreciate so much what you're doing, how you're doing it, and if you can find anything, we're 100% behind you. And, and what that does is link us together with the, the families, links us with the physicians, and it gives us the opportunity to come in and really say the basic science is what's really important because that's what's going to give you your clues going forward. When the doctors have their hands full for what they can do just dealing with the patients,